Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Vital Healing. I'm Dr. Candida Schwartz. I am a naturopathic doctor as well as an intuitive healer. Two important things that I wanted to talk about regarding the gut-brain access. Um, I have done a couple of different videos about this, and so I will link them below or put them in the little thingies, you know, the little bubbles here that come up. Um, but I just wanted to, there are things that I've been wanting to share. One is a product review that I have been doing my own personal test on for the last month, and I wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on it. And then another thing is a perspective that I wanted to share. And uh, so without further ado, the first product review, it is actually an app. It's called Nerva.com, N-E-R-V-A.com. And the whole premise of it is to retrain the gut and the brain through meditation and hypnosis on a daily on a daily basis specifically to reset and change the communication the dialogue the conversation between the gut and the brain while calming down the body in meditation in hypnosis while they give you some um, thoughts and ideas and uh, new perspectives on how to uh, heal the gut heal the brain, calm down the body. I I heard about it because it popped up on my computer screen um, because I'm always kind of searching for different things about IBS and things like that. As many of you know, if you watch my other videos, you know that I was diagnosed with IBS when I was six years old and that was 1978. So it was kind of like, good luck with that, right? That's what they said to my mom. And um, so it popped up and I was so curious about it and I looked into it and then I contacted my wonderful colleague and friend. She is a very well-known, very reputable uh, ND, naturopathic doctor who specializes in gastroenterology and gastroenterology and she, um, Alana Gurevich, she's wonderful. And um, she said, no, it's actually not a scam. It's actually this really cool app and she used it often. And um, the thing that I found so interesting about it is, is that when it popped up, it showed like, like the FODMAP diet, which is the famous diet for people with IBS and how helpful the results are in trials by following this diet and how helpful doing this daily practice of meditation and hypnosis, resetting this communication, this gut brain access. So I contacted the company and they, uh, they were really helpful. You just download the app and then every day you set, you tell them when to send you the daily meditation and you go through a series of, you go through a series of meditation and you actually repeat them every, every week. So there's seven different meditations and then you do them the first week and then it's the same the second week, third week and fourth week. I'm in, I'm in the beginning of my fifth week and still the same set of meditations. They give you some information about why it is helpful and you know, it's, it was all stuff that obviously I knew, but in a way, the way that they presented it and just kind of approaching it, like I have IBS and I want to learn and I want to understand and I want to heal. It was just such a nicely, like quick, concise uh, way to 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 deal with and understand why the gut brain access is so important how it can cause gastroenteral like gas like um digestive issues how stress it, it was just so well done um i think it was third week it did some vago i my understanding is is that it was just vagal stimulation breathing and you just do it for five minutes a day and it just and the meditation hypnosis is maybe like 15 or 16 minutes a day very i'm i'm super impressed i've really found it helpful you answer a bunch of questions and then they i think they tailor it to you i don't know how long we'll be repeating the same um meditations but i get more out of each of them because I find that like in that first week I was just thinking so much that I didn't really follow the meditation but it just and the, the best thing about it that I loved was just the hope that it gives you like you're getting better and better every day and if you have a crummy day it's okay it 
I loved it. I can't, I can't, I don't get any kickbacks or anything from this, but I highly recommend checking it out if this is something that you've been struggling with. Um, the second thing that I wanted to talk about is I, one of the biggest things that I've noticed since I was a young girl was how I was looking at my stomach all the time. I've noticed all of my life, especially once I started, I was a very thin little kid. And then once I, my hormones started kicking in, um, you know, like probably 14 or 15, like, I, you know, I, I started my period at 12, but I was still pretty skinny. Um, but I noticed that once I hit high school, like 14 or so, I noticed that like I, 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 I gained a lot of weight at a certain point and I fluctuated with my weight all my life. Um, and I have a history of eating disorders and all of that. And if you're ever interested in learning more about that, comment below and I'm happy to talk uh, openly about it. I actually have a lot to say about it. Um, I'm sure you're not surprised. Um, anyways, uh, but I noticed that I was always looking at myself from the side in the mirror and I was looking at my belly. Was it bloated today? Was it swollen? Did it look flat? Did it look big? Was it puffy? Did I have, what did it look like? There was always judgment on my belly every day, several times a day. And often I wasn't happy with it, right? I was feeling bloated or I was feeling like, you know, I was having digestive issues. Like I didn't feel good, right? And, but I was always assessing. There was so much criticism thrown at my belly, right? There was so much judgment on my stomach. What did I eat? I shouldn't have eaten. I shouldn't have exercised more. I should have done more stomach crunches. I should have done this. I, I should it all over myself, right? And I still do it. I'm not going to lie and act like I don't because I do. I still assess. But I try now to have more like love towards it. Like if I am feeling pudgier or chubbier or more swollen or I've eaten something and I maybe shouldn't have or I'm not sure, I try to be like, I try to take deep breaths and send lots of love to it through the mirror. So it's kind of like I'm communicating with this other part of myself. Before, when I was judging myself, these two parts of myself, the reflection in the mirror, as well as what I was, like what I was thinking and feeling and projecting, they were kind of on the same page. Now, um, now it's like I'm looking at it and if I am feeling swollen, I just, or bloated or whatever, I look at it and I just say, you know, we're working on it. We're working on it. It's a, it's a, it's, it's part of my story. It's part of my healing. It's part of my understanding. You know, the gut is all about our confidence. It's all about our will. It's all about our determination. It's all about our boundaries. So I check in and now I also check in when I look, well, what, what was your day like? Did you have a lot of stress today? Did you, were you, are you, were you depleted? Are your, were your boundaries down? Like, uh, were people yelling at you? Were people frustrated with you? Are you frustrated with yourself? Um, yeah, it's, I, I just have this different relationship now with what I see in the mirror. Um, and I also check in with my brain when I'm looking at it. Like, hmm, I'm really being harsh on myself right now. Do I deserve that? Probably not. Like just because I ate like, I don't know, an extra piece of chocolate or whatever, I ate too much sugar or sweet or whatever, or I had too many carbs or I should have stayed on that diet or I should be doing this other diet or I should be doing a cleanse. Instead, I'm just like, well, let's just quiet my mind and see if the perspective changes. You know, so much of our mind gives us a projection of what we see that's not always centered in reality. So I hope that these messages like kind of get you thinking, get you exploring Nerva and maybe doing some, you know, communication, like whether in front of the mirror or look in the mirror, see what you see, do some journaling, do some meditation. Um, I don't know. I just really have wanted to share it for a long time. I think it's, I think there are two really important things that I haven't touched upon as much in the video. So I'm always trying to think of, of, of good information to share with you all. So let me know what you think. Share this with anybody that you might think, uh, 
it might help. Um, like, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, and we will see you next time. Talk really nicely to yourself, every part of your body, but right now we're talking about your gut, and you know, the gut is about you, and you're perfect, all right? We'll see you next time.